What is up, everybody? What is up, friends? How are we doing? How the fuck are we doing? Dude. Oh, shrimp. Are you... <laughs> shrimp! I The word on the street is you're looking to farm? You're looking to farm, buddy? That's what I heard? That's what I heard? <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm gonna, real quick, I'm gonna finish all these quests real quick, because I, uh... Um, I got all these, these guys to do. Dude, or lab, you want to farm too? Dude, I'm, I'm, look, I'll, I'll have G some farms or whatever, but, you know, I'm going, I'm going for it. We're getting these shiny rolls, everybody. The first one on the block is Edge Transit. I will be getting, I will be getting the perfect Edge Transit, okay? We're not going to worry about the perfect 5 out of 5, the Onslaught, or the Envious Cascade roll, because uh, Bungie's already said that they're, they're fixing it. Um, but, uh, I, I'm going fucking for it, okay? For generations, oh my god, why are you, why is this allowed? For generations? Oh, what, shrimp is farming. Seeds. I actually didn't think shrimp was gonna farm. She is Let's go. Riven. Let's riven fucking go. Alright, give me a, give me a, like, 10 or 15 to complete these quests, just so I can get them out of the way, and then, and then we're fucking and farming, buddy. Is your calling. We gotta, we gotta get... We gotta get some farmers. I guess it's still pretty early, so not too many people are on. How about Sneak would farm with us? Um, got a five out of five God Will Shiny Edge Transit, and I sold to Wave 24 on Legend. Dude, let's go. I, it makes me so happy that people are liking. Like, Destiny's back. You know what I mean? Let's go. Welcome, everyone. If I haven't said hi to you, uh, welcome. Um, you know, it's crazy. People are farming. I had like, I literally had like seven pages of friends on yesterday. That that has not happened. It ha that has not happened in so long. You were an onslaught denier, but it's actually quite good. <laughs> you know what? That's what we love to hear, man. I mean, it's got some rough edges. Like, don't get me wrong. I think there's definite improvements that could be made, but. For a first pass on a horde mode that was made in, you know, like a couple of months or whatever, it's pretty fucking good, okay? The loot is incredible. Um, it made me enjoy Vostok. I am the, I am like Vostok's number one hater. I hate Vostok in Crucible. We're like one of the worst Crucible maps of all time. It is easily the best, easily the best Onslaught map. Not even close. Anything that can make me enjoy Vostok, that's done well, my friends. Uh, all the weapons, uh, awesome. I love farm. Like, it's just good, man. It just feels good. And I hope this is the base. I, ho I hope they keep refining it or building off of it or, or something in the future. Um, you know, going going forward, uh, I, w I would hate if Onslaught is, like, dropped and forgotten. I think there is a lot of great opportunity to expand on it. Uh, and make it, you know, add it to different maps and refine some of the mechanics and uh, make it a little bit more streamlined and, and that sort of stuff. But uh, I think, like, for a first fucking pass, uh, like, incredible, honestly. Whoa, dude, trip. What is that? Oh, are you stealing the CP? Yeah, Bungie is, is, is W City right now, which is, uh,. Look, man, I, I, I'm like, I would like to sit here and say that I never had a doubt, but that is just actually not true. <laughs> I had my doubts. I was very worried. I, you know, I've been explaining for months what needs to happen leading up to Final Shape in terms of how important this hype generation is. You know, people, people like to sit in chat and say that I don't know what I'm talking about or whatever. And, and I don't as much as like, you know, Bungie themselves or whatever, but it is not, you know, it is important that the final shape is good, but it is equally as important that people are very excited going into the final shape, right? 
That's an incredibly important thing. And um, I'm, I'm glad to see that Bungie is delivering on, on all fronts. And, and they're... I'm coming to grief, just wanted to be a nuisance. So, has anyone been able to find the tri triumph to do Archie? No, uh, so he's talking about this triumph. There's a triumph to find Archie. Uh, this will probably start um, uh, very soon. Seems to be a weekly quest type of deal. Yo, Andre, how you doing? And all of guys on it, of course. Uh, well, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, the problem with like weekly collectible guides like that is like fucking, you know, people who do this for a living. Oh, I'm literally the greatest assassin player. Uh, people who do this for a living, uh, you know, they're able to be on a reset and immediately make the, the videos ASAP. I don't get home until four or five hours after reset. Um, and uh, so it's hard for me to compete with those. So I've talked about this before. That's why I generally will do like one mega collectible video once everything has released. So I might do that again for this, um, for the Archie. Uh, definitely will be for the Oracles. Um, nope, that's not what I meant to do. No, I'm not gonna have, not gonna have any ammo. Archie is the Robo Dog, yeah. It's just a fun little hide and seek quest to find Archie. Uh, probably either on different planets or uh, I'm I would guess uh, zero hour as well. I feel like that'd be a really good place to hide a dog, but a robot dog specifically, you wouldn't want to send a real dog in zero hour. What, like, what are you a monster? But. Uh, a lot of the elemental effects do not count towards the quest, like Joel does not. So I'm going to assume... Although that being said, when you die to the... When you die to the, uh, the Cloud Strike AoE effect in Crucible, it does count as a Cloud Strike kill, so... Maybe. I don't know. Solid maybe for me on that one, dog. Oh, Cloud Strike does count? Well, that would require me to get Cloud Strike out of my vault. Like, I'm not. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm, uh, I'm too committed at this point, boys. Uh, okay, I need to find my thing of ear you. I've already done the GL. GL was the, the only one I've done up to this point, actually. And maybe pulses, I forget. So that's the order. I really want a god roll uh, edge transit. So envious uh, bait and switch um, with like uh, augmented and spike, I think. And then quick launch with as much velocity as possible, I believe. Hope uh, Wobby's here to tell me I'm wrong. And then uh, either handling or reload on the mass work. Handling's good for hot swaps, which I do a lot of, so. Did I complete the quest? Bruh. Oh, I'm gonna die, this is embarrassing. Oh, that's even more embarrassing. What the Um, but I've been farming a lot. I've probably done 10, 10 level 50 legends at this point. And many, 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 many more hours of, of not level 50. We did a lot of, uh, we did some level 10 farming last night. Um, cause it's pretty fast. I think if you have like a fucking goaded team, I think level 50s are still faster. Cause you get the extra loot and you get the extra, uh, uh, coins as well, and then you don't have to worry about flying in and out all the time. So I, I don't have the exact math to, to back this up, but if you can do 50 levels in 50 minutes, I think technically the farm is still faster than farming level tens. Um, 
just kind of depends on, on how good your team is, I suppose, or how fast your team is and what map you're doing, that sort of thing. Uh, but level 10s are super chill farms. So I think most people are, are going to do that. So you just load into a legend, you get you beat the boss at level 10, and then you requeue. Um, well, it's equal time shrimp, but you get extra coins and you get extra, because uh, you get more bonus objectives, right? And you get the extra chest at the end. So I, I think it's equal time, but I think technically the loot would be a little higher on the, le the, the level 50 farms. Uh, but level 10 farms are super, it's like, it's not that big of a difference, honestly. Also, I think level 50 runs are way more fun. So that's, that's an aspect, like, if you want just like a brain turn off farm, that's still really, really good, can get a little monotonous, farm level 10s. If you want a little bit more high octane, uh, that's a little bit more engaging, um, farm level 50s. That's, that's kind of where I'm at, 99. 3%! Gonna have to Polaris Lance this in fucking Onslaught, dude. Honestly, that's... A I don't even want the scout. What is the scout? Oh, it's hung jury. I don't even fucking want that. I'm not gonna keep, even if I get the perfect shiny roll, I don't think I'm gonna keep it, so. I think, so I think shinies should not have an increased drop rate, but I, I am a believer that a level 50 legend run should be a guaranteed shiny. I do think that, personally. Um, I think that's that's a bit, to, to incentivize people to actually go for the level 50 instead of farming 10s, I think level 50 should be a guaranteed shiny. I, th I think one hour of your time for a single shiny that is not even guaranteed to be a good roll, because I've gotten fucking 10 shiny edge transits and they've all sucked. Um, I think that is like beyond reasonable, personally. But I, I also do respect and appreciate how Bungie's standing their ground on this one now. Uh, there's been a couple of devs talking about it on Twitter, and they're like, no, we just, we just kind of fucking want them to be rare, okay? Good, good luck, nerds. And I, I do have to say, for a game like Destiny that has needed a chase for a, a really long time, I, I respect that a lot, actually. I, I think it's cool that they're finally kind of sticking to their guns and uh, appealing to more hardcore players for, for once in, a, in a, a long time. I feel like this Into the Light and the Final Shape are the first time that as a final player, I have I have like truly felt like heard and respected in years, years and years and years and years. I mean, we are truly the focus audience of, of this DLC and of what they're showing for Final Shape. Insane build crafting. They brought back secret missions. Uh, you know, Onslaught is not an easy activity. You have ridiculous farms here. Uh, Pantheon is literally like my fucking wet dream, okay? Uh, it's like, it's crazy, man. It's like, why, I, I, you know, I, it's, on one hand, my initial thing is like, man, why is it taking this long? But then I'm like, just shut the fuck up. Enjoy this, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So, oh, I gotta do the quest for Super Black. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, I'm not. I'm not doing that. We are going. Uh, I'll just use Polaris Lance. It'll be I. I really need people to stop crying, crying about the rarity. It's a little tiny glow. If they make them any less rare, then no one will care anymore. I think more people, I totally agree with you. Like to be clear, I think people, I mean, it's fucking day three. You know what I mean? Like people or well, I guess it's not day three because it's Saturday now. So it's like day five or something. But uh, still my point is, I think people are always way too quick to be like, I didn't get what I want immediately. You know what I mean? And it's, I kind of get it, but at the same point, uh, I don't care. Keep it rare. Keep it rare. Keep it rare, please. For the love of everything, keep it rare. I love the little. This 
Okay, I'm gonna reattune this guy though. That's the instrument, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I hope we do have some sort of. And remember, guys, there is still a. Um, there's still one mission in Season of the Wish we haven't done yet. There is still one mission, so. I believe. Hopefully. Am I wrong there? I don't think I'm wrong. For you. Fight well. Um. If I recall correctly, at least. So I'm already maxed out on Lord Shax. Uh, they, another thing they should do is make Shax resettable. So you just can get more tokens and, and more. I think, yeah, Legends should definitely be rare here, but it should also be just like pouring loot. Um, I, I think I should be like getting just like fucking drowned in loot, uh, personally. Are these I know you're busy, Guardian, but the crucible Like how long does this take? I mean that's a free engram right there. That's that's pretty good. So we still got a lot of stuff to do. Um Shrimp, I'm gonna go to the helm and then we can start runs if you want, buddy. Tens or fifties, whatever you would like. Um let's see if I can find us a third. What's Koops doing? Koops is doing legends. Bro, Koops. He did, he t straight up ghosted me yesterday, man. How do you get the ship? What ship do I have? Oh, uh, this is from pre-ordering Final Shape. They added a pre-order bonus. Uh, so I just I just sent a message to one of my friends, Mubius. If uh, if Coops doesn't answer, then yeah yeah, feel free to join, man. So yeah, we got a. Uh... We got plenty, we got plenty of stuff to farm and do. Um, here's like, actually, like I said, I didn't get anything good. I actually did. So I got this edge transit. Um, I didn't even notice I got repulsor and destabilizing. That's pretty cool. I, I mean, if I'm going to get a secondary perk, like at least they synergize. That's kind of cool. Uh, quick launch. Awesome. Envious. Bay and switch. Handling. Awesome. But my fucking grenades suck. Sticky grenades. And high ordinance explosives? Bleh. <laughs> Literally throwing. Uh, so, kind of kind of trash. Uh, this is the... Uh, the uh, it's called a Blaze. It's the same one on my ship, too. It's the pay-to-win shader for this this season. It's like 10 bucks or something. Um, it looks fucking phenomenal, though. What do we think about my Warlock trip, by the way? Uh... What are, we, what are we what are we thinking here? Good good warlock trip, bad warlock trip. It's hard to make Phoenix look good. Uh like my favorite shade, like uh that looks pretty alright, I guess. I, I wish that gold was a little better. I mean that looks good. I'm happy with that. But I, I kinda wanted something a little bit different, so I went with the the ablaze. Oh, I think that's the I think this helmet is the coolest helmet in the franchise. I uh it is unreal how awesome that helmet is. Damn, you keeping a uh, Warlock Males bold? I, uh, this might be a controversial opinion, but I have never uh, liked, or it's not a lot. It's not that I dislike playing on a female character. It's I don't care. <laughs> it's uh, a lot of people get like really offended. They're like, oh, you have to have boobs. And it's like, I just, Man, I'm just fucking vibing, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, if you really care about playing on a female character or whatever, like, that's, I guess, your prerogative. But I've never really gotten it. It's never really been my, uh... It's never been something I cared about. I think is a, is a safe way of, of saying that. Uh, 
Um, yeah, he didn't respond, Mubius, so feel free to join. Uh, pierogi, yeah, pierogiative, that's right. That's right, Shrimp, that's right. Uh, Shrimp, do you want to do 10s or 50s? You want to just do 10s? Just vibing, or... I mean, it's, it's up to you. I'll let you decide. I'm just kind of vibing. Uh, there we go. Do I not have you friended, Mubius? Wait, I have you fr I swear I have you friended. What? Man, he unfriended me for sure. That's toxic. Not a 10s fan, but we can do 10s. Oh, we can do 50s. Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. If we're doing, uh... Good bio midterm today. Wish me luck. Hey, dude, good luck. Oh, I didn't even check. Do we have two warlocks? Oh, shit, we're dead. It's fucking Jover. Oh, yeah, we're dude, we're cooking. A strand titan? What? Who do you think you are, salty, salty gecko, bro? Nothing to help you but your team and All your righty. Weapon. Time for scout rifle Nothing kills. Nothing to help you but your team and your weapon. Fight. Yoke, what are you on about, dog? Bio midterm. Is it, uh, is it, what bio is it? We talking like biochemistry, molecular biology. We talking cellular. We just talking intro to bio. BCMB. Biochemistry, molecular biology is probably my least favorite topic on, on the planet. As someone who knows a lot about biology, because I did bio applied polymers, biology is just chemistry with more memorization and depression. And that's just a fact. I don't make the rules, okay? Oh, uh, this is literally the only shiny that I've gotten so far that I've kept. It's all right. I need better. I need better, though. It's not, it is not optimal. Dude, let's go. Yo, Thompson, how you doing? Shriekers on round one is pretty brutal. How do people use scout rifles, man? Just gotta, just gotta sit back here and explode things. The updated, I cannot believe they updated skyboxes to be completely honest. There's been times where I have felt like, um, there's been times where I have felt like Bungie is like top of their game and they still haven't put in the effort to do things like update skyboxes and stuff. Um, I cannot believe they did that. It's like, it's such a small detail. In, in reality, it doesn't really matter that much. But, um, just, just crazy, dude. Oh my god, I really hate using Skyrifles, Jesus Christ. Remind me to bring you along the next time I feel like rolling. Um, I think technically, I think technically augmented is the best, I believe. That's a lobby question. I, th I think all of those, like, all of those grenade choices, I think are like within a couple of percents of each other in terms of like how good they technically are. So I don't think it really matters that much, but, um, I'd have to like go in and, and really look at them. I've just like, this is all like third hand information at this point. I haven't actually spent the time to, to inquire into why one is better or, uh, than the other or not, so.
Um, I haven't gone past 10 waves in Legends. How difficult does it get in comparison? It gets pretty brutal, dude. I I'm not going to be going for the Cascade Envious roll. Bungie made it pretty clear that they're going to nerf it, so... This spot's goaded, by the way. The glitch is borderline cheating. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, it is like broken as fuck though. Like, but I, I would definitely, it, I will never call in-game exploits cheating. Like, I think terminology like that sets a pretty dangerous precedent. Bungie has made it very clear that if an exploit is their fault, they won't ban you for it. Um, and so at that point, it's just part of the game. It's, a, it's an unintended interaction, but I would not call it cheating. Hey, Scarecrow, can you make a video before the final shape about sandboxes from all the major DLCs? Uh, no. <laughs> I dog, I don't fucking remember. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you what the sandbox is right now. But glitch, uh, switching Envious Assassin for Cascade point. Where you get the double size mag and then you just go and you unload all that shit. It's unintended ability to do something. Bungie's already said they're fixing it, but I would I would not describe it as cheating, I think. That feels like a very, like, dad on Reddit thing to do, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you use the loadouts? Fucking cheater. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, even if fixed, I wouldn't getting Ambush Cascade roll be worth. Um, no, maybe I don't fucking know, dude. It's so hard to tell how they fix things. I I had a conversation with my friends. I was convinced Envious is is bugged right now. The fact you can double proc it. Uh, my friends seem to think that's how it's supposed to function. What do you guys think? The fact that you can you have an Envious GL, and let's say you normally have like, you know eight in the mag you can overflow to 14 and then you overflow again to like 21. Uh, you just pull it out you put it away and then it overflows again do you think that's intended to me that feels not intended but um i, I was kind of convinced yesterday that it, it it is not impossible that, that that's how it could work bungie has stated in patch notes that's how it's supposed to function oh yeah yeah it was a bug that turned into a feature okay it's, that's such a weird... I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. If they've said that, I don't remember them saying that, but... Fair enough, fair enough. I've got to be almost done with this thing. Oh. Oh, brother. Okay, you know what? We're we're done trying to trying to use a, a fucking rocket on a on a witch. We're done with that. Yes, yeah, there will be a bounty preppy. No <laughs> on that one. A bounty oh, preppy oh. video soon. Um, for sure.
Would there not be one on the right side? Oh. Usually they spawn a little closer. Oh, that is a uh, fucking tangle. Uh, I do not think they will remove bounties. Uh, the the Pathfinder system is a is a. I don't think we have enough information about it to 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 make, sure make such a drastic uh, claim. You know what I mean. 41%! So, if, uh, yeah, maybe, dude. Okay, I'm taking this shit off. It's garbage. Tormentors. Tormentors. Nah, dude, the scout takes way too long, Ashirochi. Your night is blistering. It's no wonder gods fall before you. Oh. Anarchy's all right, but I think the fact of the matter is that rockets have just insane burst potential. Nothing here is like, I think Scorch does, and, and Tether as well, do all the crowd control you would ever need. Like, I don't, um, oh shit, oh shit, I don't think, uh, any more crowd control like an Anarchy is needed, holy fuck. Personally, although I've been I've been pretty much exclusively running this with two well locks and an Orpheus rig and that feels very good Also, if you haven't done it on Vostok, Vostok is a billion times easier than Midtown by the way I'm not saying it's like the easiest thing in the world I guess but it is definitely you just have longer sight lines so I can throw a battery from anywhere into any of the ADUs um, The the bonus objectives feel a little bit more free on this one. Also, Hive is also a billion times. Like, if you get Fallen, I, if I get Fallen, I'm, I'm requeuing pretty much every time. Fallen is, uh, they're very annoying. They can go invisible. The Briggs are way harder than the Ogres for the bonus objectives. Yeah, the ABUs. We started also, this is no longer the advanced defense unit. It's the advanced bitches unit. It's the ABU. That's the new rule. The fuck are you shooting at, buddy? Oh, the turret. You have a chemistry question? Okay, of course, dude. The active daily users. Yeah. Thoughts on their uh 
So, one thing I do find very interesting about this that no one's bringing up, I very specifically... So, if you guys don't know, there's been a, a leak that Destiny 3 has been being worked on since 2022 or something. I think the lamest shit is that it is, it is codenamed Payback as a reference of Bungie getting payback on themselves. That's the dumbest shit. I could not write worse fan fiction than that. I, I do not think. Um... Also, like, I'm very skeptical, personally. Uh, I do think Destiny 3 will exist at some point. And it might be even being worked on right now, but, um, I don't, I don't really know. But I do remember very specifically that when the first round of layoffs were happening at Bungie, um, uh, they, like, I very, like, I think Paul Tassi reported that there were internal... Like, people who are leaving Bungie that were like, they are not working on Destiny 3. And that was, like, six months ago. I, I very clearly remember that. And everyone was like, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> and, like, now that, like... So, that's just that was just actually just wrong? Or what? Why did people who just got fired from Bungie, did they have any reason to lie about that? Like... I feel like I'm missing something, or we are, as a community, are missing something. And like I said, maybe they are working on Destiny 3. I don't fucking know, but this feels very, uh, I don't know. Unse I feel like, we plus the... <laughs> Which Come on, you know, like, you. the the people, I know it's based off of, like, a Reddit account or something, but the first gaming news place to pick this up was the gaming post, and we've, we've had our discussions about how bad of a source Destiny Bulletin is. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I just, I, I, I'm not a believer, personally, but maybe, maybe, I don't fucking know. I'm not gonna say they're definitely not working on it, because I think they do have to work on it at some point. Um, I, I, I think the, a lot of the decisions they made going into Final Shape, I think are very indicative of, uh, an Age of Triumph-ish type of, like, final hoorah, like, just throwing balance out of the window, finally giving endgame players what they want, like, all of this does feel very Age of Triumph-y. Um, and Luke Smith came out of the DCV. Which is like, okay, that usually only happens when some big shit's about to happen, you know what I mean? So, maybe. I have no fucking idea. I just, I, uh, just have my, my doubts about using this specific source as confirmation or evidence that Destiny 3 is or is not happening. Destiny 3 is the, is the panic button? I don't think so. I, there is, it is... That is way too much money and time to invest in for it to be a panic button. Um, I think it is one of the many options. I think... <laughs> I think fucking Lightfall was the panic button. Like, oh shit, we really want Final Shape to be good. We didn't have enough time to flush it out. Lightfall. That's that's the panic button. Um, you know, a, a lack of planning and, and, and the result that follows thereof. Destiny 3 is a is a something that is going to take five years to make. You know what I mean? That is not a panic button. Oh no, I didn't see your question. Um, what was your question? Can you uh, repost it? Blue Smith made your mouth drop. It's kind of nice to see him again. He's looking good, man. I was on the Last Word podcast on uh, Thursday, and Travis said uh, Luke Smith is one of those guys. Like, the more successful he is, the less nerdy he is, he looks. I was like, yeah, actually, that actually kind of checks out, dude. He, he look, he's looking really good. He's looking real good. I feel like if there is a Destiny 3, it, it will pivot pretty hard. I feel like the... I don't know. I, I feel like the Hunter Warlock Titan thing, like a lot of this stuff feels kind of like, I don't want to say overdone, but I feel like that's the exact type of thing, oh my fucking God, that you would change up 
if you really wanted to make an impact. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know if there will be playable classes even in the future, uh, or if I would make them. It just kind of depends how different or similar they would want to make a potential Destiny 3, right? Like, I honestly feel like if you're... If, oh, shit. If you're doing a Destiny 3... That's where I would start to take risks and really try to... Try to do some unique shit. No. But, who the fuck knows? I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm not even sold on the fact that... It's even being worked on. So, it's hard for me to say. Hey, Wobby. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I know Forerunner. I mean, come on. It's not like Tormentors are really that hard to kill. And make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. People keep saying, I, I, uh, why is Chief, Chief as addicted to drugs? You said this the other day. Did I say that? I don't think I said that. I think she's like, naturally has a lot of MSG in it, though. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think I said that. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> I want them to embrace the MMO side of things. Uh, I totally agree. I do not agree that that means no more sequels. I think the the reality is, is that a game like Destiny is going to be much harder to be expansive than a game, you know, like RuneScape or, or WoW or something. Those games have like... Compared to Destiny, zero graphical, like, integrity, you know? Like, they look, they, they're nothing compared in terms of, like, scope and aesthetic and, and everything. I'm not saying they're bad games, I'm just saying, like, when, when, when it comes to designing things, graphics, like, take by far the most amount of space. That's how it is on our, like, on your phones, right? Videos and, and, and pictures and shit. That sort of stuff always is, is so much of a uh, space and, uh, takes a lot of time to make and you know the, also those those types of games traditional mmos t are typically third person first person games are harder to do in terms of a graphic standpoint as well um so it's like destiny's a, is a fucking massive game in, ter in, ter in terms of aesthetics, in terms of scope, in terms of like everything, right? They can't, it is not feasible to grow something like this to the size of a wow. Uh, I would, in my, in, as far as everything that has been explained to me, because I'm not an expert in this sort of thing by any means. Um, so, shrimp, what are you doing? So I don't think it's feasible to never have a sequel. It's look, you either you either get lots of DCV or a sequel, and maybe even with the sequel, you still get a lot of the DCV. If they do go a sequel route, I I want them to be done bringing back content. It's either you launch the sequel and it has everything important from Destiny One and Destiny Two, or you leave that shit in the past and we stop talking about it. I'm, you know, we've had our our half a decade of bringing back old content and the soldier bait and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of done with it. I want all new stuff. You know? They're gonna finally bring back fucking Wrath, and then <laughs> then it'll be Destiny 3, and we'll lose Wrath again. It's like, no, I, I'm done with that. Either you have all the raids off the rip, or you never bring them back, period. What's a recluse god role in your opinion? It would probably be something with desperate measures, but I, I'm i not sold on recluse actually being like good enough to justify farming something out, to be honest. I, don't, I do not really see a scenario. I think desperate measures will be really good for prismatic, so this could very well change. Uh, but as it currently exists, I do not see recluse being good enough to dethrone something like Eichelos, personally, or Mida. Like, Incandescent and, um, and fucking, uh, Jolt, Jolt Shot, Volt Shot are just unbelievable, right? So unless, uh, it looks like 
indomitable and uh in desperate measures and all of these perks that they're they're releasing right now will have insane prismatic synergy so maybe maybe you know keep keep one of those um but you know yeah frenzy desperate measures is probably insane is frenzy the only damage perk you can get in the first column or is surrounded in the first column too does it even roll with surrounded? If if your choice is between a uh, a surrounded or a frenzy, I would I think I would go with uh, surrounded. But. Oh, I thought someone just said frenzies in the first. Slot. Okay, well then, if it doesn't, no, 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 no. Desperate measures is cool, but if it if it can't get frenzy double uh, desperate or anything, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about. It. Hey, I wait. Aren't you supposed to be a brunch? Cancelled. Lame. Frenzy's in the fifth slot. Uh, the fifth slot. Okay. Yeah, I haven't really looked at any of the rules for recluse because after they announced them, I was I was like, okay, that's kind of it's kind of trash, and I'm not interested in it. So I don't really know what it comes with other than desperate measures and master of arms. But master of arms is like just bad, you know? It's just bad. Which is a real shame because uh, they found a way to make all of the other returning perks really interesting. Master of Arms, they just flat out were like, okay, we're just nerfing this so it's bad. Even 20% Master of Arms is pretty bad, to be honest. Yeah, I, I just don't know, man. It's hard. Nowadays, Master of Arms was really awesome because it gave you, like, a single target weapon. And Ad Clear was also harder to come across then back sure then, right? Like, 3.0s the didn't exist. We were just coming into the, the world of, like, a, a primary and a special. Everything was still pretty fresh. Our abilities were pretty bad. So it was like, okay, something that could do single target damage and be really fucking nutty for ad control. That was really powerful back in the day. Now, with the 3.0s, you're not using... It's a lot easier to find a, a good primary weapon for like a, like a kinetic or a, a primary ammo weapon, a gray ammo weapon. It is a lot easier to find a crowd control one of those and a single target special weapon versus the opposite of that and so nowadays when we have Icolos, when we have mida and shit you just you just don't need the ad clearing potential of a of a recluse has such a high bar to cross there and then it's also so it's already dethroned in in terms of ad clear and then in terms of single target damage you have insanity like malfeasance or whatever um and then you also just have like mountaintops coming back. We have insane. We have just have an insane number of things that can do literally everything recluse used to be able to do, but better. So it's like you bring it back, but worse. Yeah, and that's not even including the fact I totally forgot about that. That um, exotic primaries just inherently do more damage now too. So it's just like whatever, dude. I don't know. So, they definitely butchered it. Yeah, I mean, Sunshot's fucking crazy. Zowies is fucking crazy. So... It is what it is, but Master of Arms kind of dead, dead content. Recluse dead on arrival, really. Like I said, I think there is a lot of potential with 
the origin trait and with desperate measures with prismatic since you know getting both light and dark and a bunch of ability kills and, and that sort of thing i think is going to be really really important and i feel like the the gameplay the flow of gameplay in terms of your abilities is going to be a lot cleaner in, with prismatic and so anything that benefits from that i think is is going to be really good did you use your well um and they're kind of already setting us up for that you know that's a lot of the perks and combinations and, and weapons and stuff recently were are playing into that which i think is really cool kind of a nice way to tease going forward Do you think that's supposed to sound like, uh, do you think that's supposed to sound like the Mandalorian? Kind of sounds like it is. Uh, what? I didn't even see this guy. What? Yeah, that was really good. I gotta take off the snap melee. I always forget I have it and not the celestial. Nice. I don't want to talk about any of that. Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. Disable repulsor destabilizing recluse goes hard too. I've never really been a fan of like I know people love that combo. I don't run a lot of void, so I've never really been a fan of that combo. Uh, I and now with prismatic, you can use it on other things and, and stuff. But I mean, I feel like ninety percent of the time when I hear people talk about repulsor destabilizing, it's a year falcons build. I don't really play hunter, and I definitely don't play void. So it's just like. You know, it's, it's not something I've ever really, uh, not saying it's bad. It's just not really something I've ever incorporated into my, my normal play. I always forget to switch to my main switch shot. Stop moving. Stop moving. What happened to your hunter vanguards? <laughs> oh, bro, they picked uh, they picked a guy with a new board with zero experience. Fucking hero. No, I, I probably am not going to try solo. When you're around, if if I ever try solo legends, it'll be after I have everything. Like I'm not doing that shit until I'm done. You know what I mean? So. Oh, we're here again? Oh, 30. 30 to 40 is what I meant, but. Um. How do things like Tessellation Osmosis Elemental work with Prismatic? Uh, almost certainly off of your super. Uh, there were a lot of uh, of the aspects that were like, hey, you either get 
Devour or Radiant or any of this shit, but it's it's you only get one of them. It's dependent on your super. I I'm fairly certain that's how all of those types of perks are going to work, which I think is fair, right? I think Song of Flame Prismatic is going to be just fucked. I'm so excited for it. I think Tessellation will work with tran uh, Transcendence grenades. Uh, I think they they showed you can use weapons of radiance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, almost just got absolutely fucking destroyed. Give me a sec. I think this is an upgrade. Round. No, one more minute. Give me. Uh, there, there's an upgrade round right here in a second, so I'll be able to. Unfortunately, all these game companies keep uh, making these game modes that you can't boss. <laughs> they need to stop. Well, it's the, you know, it's the reality of an online only game, I guess. But Oh, that's movies. Holy shit. I hope Song's not DOA because of Well. No. Well, A, you can't use Well with Prismatic, and B, Song of Flame is going to be like a DPS super. Completely different. Well, Well's, I guess, is like a, a DPS super, but not, it isn't, you know? Song of Flame is going to be fucking crazy. Yeah, okay. Let me hook you. Let me hook you. Huh? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I, I like the cross flap thing. Oh, it's supposed to tie? That's cute. <laughs> uh, the thing that's that you said was a pantsuit, but is not a pantsuit? Yeah. Jumper. Jumper. Jumpsuit. Uh, it's called Song of Flame. They didn't make, no, see, the thing is, is Daybreak is now dead content. That's the, that's the reality. Between Well and Song, Song of Flame, Daybreak is dead. Just like between Throwy Staff and Throwy Knives, uh, regular Arc Strider is dead. Uh, and just... Uh, Sentinel Titan might not be dead. Sentinel Titan might, I think, is actually a, like a, a roaming super. is probably better than, than the Twilight Arsenal one in PvP. But yeah, I think I think Dawnblade's been kind of dead for a long time, and I think this just makes it even more dead. So, uh, Song of Flame, I think, is going to be incredible. I think it'll have a lot of synergy and stuff. Sentinel Titan is still the best shutdown super in the game, though. You can pretty much outduel anything with the click. The, the, what is that? What's that one called? Where you defend? That shit's crazy. Complete, that has been completely under the radar for like three years. It is incredible how good that is. Arc Staff and Dawnblade are both better in Sentinel Shield. Mm. 
I do not agree with that. I, I absolutely do not agree with that. May, like, you can definitely make an argument for PvE, I guess, but in PvP, I completely disagree. Uh, I tried to stream a little earlier on weekends. And now we have content, so now it's like... Yo, what's up, Tides? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, Banner Shield is, uh, like I said, I probably... The, uh, the the most underrated PvP super in the game. It can outduel any super. How many sh shiny random drops have you gotten? Uh, probably like 10, 12. Somewhere in there. Random ones. Somewhere in there. I've done quite I've been I've been kind of farming. Yeah, probably 10. 10's probably uh How do you have 20k scrap? We do not buy anything for the first 20 rounds, and then we only buy one decoy for the next 20. So uh and we for so 0 to 10, 10 to 20, we don't buy anything. 20 to 30, we buy one decoy. And then 30 to 40, we got teleported to the same place. So we're still using the same decoy. And then we max upgrade 40 to 50. When I sleep, I see the ADU. And dude, it's such a good farming mode though, Tides. I'm having so much fun. It's just good, you know? Just a fucking good time. Also, we're calling it the ABU now, Tides, for the Advanced Bitches unit. That's, uh, we're rebranding it. We gotta make that stick across the community, okay? Is there a trap for not spending any scrap at all? No. Uh, that's you, Shrimp. You're gonna need your well on this one if you've got it. Oh my god. Literally the greatest. Oh shit. Okay. What are the must craft weapons before final shape? Uh, Apex. I like Supremacy a lot. Some people prefer Succession. So whatever, whichever one you like better. Um, Execute all targets and make it really sure depends on your build, I guess. I would, but I'd, I'd say like the best of the best. Oh, Whisper. Get, get Whisper and Outbreak. Both of them. Uh, craft that shit. Um, yeah, definitely Apex. I think forbearance is always a safe answer. I'm trying to just think from a uh, pure day one perspective, though. Scatter signal? Uh. Oh, who's ready to watch me miss every single rocket on this one, by the way? I hate the wizard. Big dead. It's nice to grind for some genuinely cracked weapons with no crafting. I totally agree. Oh, Mobius just jumped off the map. That's embarrassing. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Just gonna hide real quick. Oh 
almost got my well. I can get it back if I just get some primary kills. I don't even know where the fuck the boss is. Yeah, this is why I like having a tether. Just a constant debuff and uh, also add control. Okay, I'm gonna... but it's I. What is your work schedule like? I work, uh, so I get up at uh, 545. Um, I work from seven to four on, uh, but I usually get in a little early. Seven to four on Monday through Thursday, and then I work uh, seven to 11 on Fridays. Uh, so four nines and a four. And then, um, yeah, it's a, a little extra here and there, depending. Uh, no, I like we wind wounds and uh, four times the charm. All right, so now we max out everything. No! Is bipod really nice now? I like bipod for uh, the ad. Oh, shrimp. I don't have well, dog. You're the you're the well. Toxic. Oh. Or you're also the well, I guess. I mean, we're both the well. Anyways, what the fuck was I talking about? Uh, I'm sorry. I have a uh, bait and switch that I switch to for damage, but I, I keep forgetting the switch on the boss. But I like bipod for these rounds because that it, it's enough to kill things, and you just have like fucking unlimited ammo as well. So how do we not have a well there? Oh god, not this again. Oh god, please no. It's all I hear in my sleep, bro. It's always the fucking well. I want Bungie to remove Well of Radiance so I never have to hear someone cry about a well again. Jesus. Including myself. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Thoughts on Shaxxon being resettable? I wish he was. Okay, I do not have any. Um, this is rough. This is rough. Okay. Okay, right on. Yeah, I don't have any heavy, so. Down. We gotta get all the, gotta get all the, all the upgrades, all the upgrades. Go, 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 go.
Do I take bribes for what? for Borgong merge, sure. All right, we haven't had... Oh, did we get a Tormentor early? I think we might have actually gotten a Tormentor in the first 10 rounds. What are the odds? Do you think we get a Tormentor in the last couple of rounds? Yes or no? I think we probably do, man. Favorite map for the Onslaught is easily Vossok. It is it is easily the, the most consistent and the easiest out of the three. And it is not significantly slower. I would I would say it's probably like on on pace with Midtown. Maybe a little slower if you're optimizing Midtown. Because Midtown um probably a little easier to spawn trap a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff, I would think. But um I feel like things get a lot more hectic a, a lot faster in Midtown. Yeah, a lot easier than Midtown, for sure. And make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. Hey, should I disjunction as an onslaught map? You fucking, you take that back right now. Do not say that. That's the worst thing anyone has ever said. Disjunction's like the one thing in the game. Disjunction and Gambit are the two things in the game that I'd be okay with them reinstating the DCV for. <laughs> Lock them up. Goodbye. Oh shit, buddy. You're being a real dick. Destruction would be a better onslaught map than a PvP map. Yeah, that's fair. That's not really a great bar to, to cross, like a, a hard one, but you know, that is, I guess that is true. Technically. Are you good? Guardian down. Don't get tripped. Alright, finish upgrading shit. Oh my god. Uh, no. No, uh, no Chinese today. Yo, Fives, what's up, dude? All right, where are we? Where are we at here? You got first, uh, well... I want a silent back from Destiny 1. I, I, you guys know, I'm not the type of person to ask for a lot back from Destiny 1. I'd say the only two things I want back from Destiny 1 are, uh, are Asylum and Wrath of the Machine. And other than that, pretty much everything else can stay in Destiny 1. Even the strikes. I think uh, a lot of Destiny 1 strikes would be pretty boring nowadays. I, I guess they could revamp them a little bit, but... Um, everyone's gonna be like, oh, what about I, Dark uh, Sunless Cell would be cool too, actually. I'll, I'll take Sunless Cell, but like Bond Brothers, eh, eh. What? What's that? Little delay, little spawn there. 
Sparrow Racing. I am not a fan of Sparrow Racing. I think that shit is way overhyped. Way overhyped. That shit was cool for like half a day. And skimmers would completely destroy SRL anyways nowadays. It wouldn't even like... You could just literally Mario Kart magic some shit straight to the end. Right from the start line. Yeah, say I think what they have reworked have been pretty good, I guess. Like, Saber's uh, a fun one. Um, I just don't like focusing on that sort of stuff. Because there are Destiny 2 strikes that I enjoy more than any of the Destiny 1 strikes, personally. But I just I would just like to see more new, new stuff. I feel like a lot of the Destiny 1 strikes are really boring. Like, I would take Zol over, like, literally any Destiny 1 strike. It's not even close. So I no no contest without without even uh without any hesitation we're gonna get a fucking who's ready for the tormentor watch for the ship watch for the ship watch for the ship torment looms oh mines let's go I'll get B Uh, I didn't want to use my one. Oh shit. Oh my god. I literally just got it. I got third party so hard right there. Oh, are we gonna fail? I think I threw. I think I threw. It might be Ogre. I don't know what the time is, but it's not good. Oh, what a good clutch, shrimp. Good fucking shit, dude. Yeah, I know I'm cringe. I got third party so hard there. That was unreal. I didn't even know he could see me. Okay, good shit, shrimp. God damn. There's the reason. There's a reason we say it's just that shrimp, man. Holy. Wretched Eye is a GM. Yeah, like people say like that sort of stuff, but like Wretched Eye was like a boring strike. I don't know, man. Wretched Eyes, undoubtedly the best strike of all time. Maybe uh, disregard what I said five seconds ago. It's just running around in a circle with a boss. We have 500 of those, you know? I don't know. I'm, I'm not really that. It was a cool design for a boss, I guess. But I would not call the strike itself one of the best of all time. It was like, it's literally Grasp of Avarice. You know, like we already have, go through random hallways in the Cosmodrome. That's why we already have that. <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh, I should say. How can you play Zol Strike? It was absolutely mid until the end. Well, the Zol Strike was only four minutes long, so it is like it is like the perfect length for a strike that had easily the coolest strike boss of all time. Not even close. Uh, and it was it was a very very nice easy farm. Generally, the best strikes are the shortest ones across the board. So, uh, no, Pyram Pyramid Eden is a very good strike, but it is too long to be the best strike, factually. Factually. Yo, Dark, thank you so much for the sub. Bro, how is there going to be an hour-long activity? There's not even a, an orange accommodation. That's crazy. 
Uh, five tens and one. Uh... So, Zol was never a GM, unfortunately. No. Uh, if you want to get a good G Charles GL as Adept Point Mandatory, technically Adept's worse. By like a couple of percents. Yeah, the update's awesome. Nocris was a GM, yes. Enjoy yourself, Guardian. Uh, that, because more blast radius is bad. I'm using the, uh, the ablaze shader for my ship. Alright, I'm gonna use this for the first 10 or 20 rounds. Get, get this shit done so I never have to use it again. Yeah, uh, my friends were telling me about that yesterday. I didn't even notice it. It's kind of interesting. The health bar thing. So all I need to do in Onslaught is a level 50 Moth Yards. Then I have every Triumph. Dust Palace, that was cool. The three bosses thing. I don't know. It was still like... The thing... Most Destiny 1 Strikes didn't have any like in, like any mechanics at all, I guess. But they definitely didn't have any interesting mechanics. They was early on in the franchise. You didn't really need mechanics. People couldn't handle the mechanics. So a lot of Destiny 1 Strikes are just like really boring. Because it's like like a lot of <laughs> Destiny 2 Strikes. Let's run here, do this, or kill this thing. Run here, kill this thing. But there are Destiny 2 Strikes that are at least uh, more interesting on that front. So, and there are definitely some interesting Destiny 1 strikes. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh, you're a, you're a bad person, shrimp. shrimp to fur. Yeah, Sun Lucelle is cool. Like I said, yeah, Sun Lucelle is cool. I hate scout rifles, dude. All right, this is getting a little out of hand for uh, wave uh, two. Is Banner a war a meta pick if you don't have Navigator 1-2 Punch? Oh, With a team, not solo, yeah. Still pretty good. Especially for things like Crota, like if you if you know you're gonna be doing like sword or melee damage, then yes. And it's really good for like infinite, infinite healing and stuff, but it is much less meta pick if you don't have those things. And even if you have those things, if you don't know how to do the combo reliably, then it's also much less meta. But it's still very good, like don't get me wrong. It is a very, very strong subclass. It is just strongest when you're abusing that shit, so. No, we've gotten Tormentor twice for in a run before. It always seems like there's one early, one late. If you, uh, like it, I haven't really gotten a mid run that I can recall. We get a lot in the in the first 10 and a lot in the last 10. I, that could just be like recency bias or like me actually paying attention more during those rounds. Like maybe I just check out during the, um, the middle rounds a little bit more, but.
Water Torm, so yeah. I, I feel like 48, 49 is really common. 2A, 30, and 40, we wiped. Oof. Uh, blinding Maze, I, I don't think worked on them. At least not well. I mean, I think they count as bosses. It is quicker to farm the first 10 waves, but it is uh, it is not fun to farm the first 10 waves. But Legend does not appear to have a, a better drop rate for Shinies, as far as I can tell. Tens are really only faster if you have a bad legend team. If you wipe or if you're going significantly slower, but 10 takes about 10 minutes, 50 takes about 50 minutes, so. They're pretty on, plus that's not even counting the extra queue time from 10, having to queue five more extra times. There, it is not dissimilar in, in overall speed. The risk is just a lot higher if you farm 50s um, in terms of losing loot, but this is way more fun. And interesting. Do you think people, a bunch of wild people, do the Riven Legit and the Raid Gauntlet? I, I hope so. I'm just excited to do it, man. You have one week from the from the release, less than six days from the release of that fourth one. Uh, I believe, right? April 30th. I believe, yeah, you have, you either, it's either six days or, or two weeks, uh, one or two weeks, I forget. But uh, you don't have a lot of time to get that final Pantheon done with all eight bosses. Um, I assume that they're going to sunset it for a short amount of time and then bring it back next season or episode or whatever you want to say. Uh, I don't think they want it in the game at the same point as the new raid uh, launching. Or the, like, I, I don't think they want to risk any of the focus of Pan uh, Final Shape being on Pantheon. So I think they'll introduce it. Um, and then they'll, they'll take it away for a couple weeks and then they'll bring it back. Maybe with new bosses. I would love, I talked about this on Twitter. I think it would be sick if Pantheon became a new rotating thing. Every episode, every season, there's a new Pantheon uh, with new bosses, new encounters, uh, new emblems, uh, and a guildable God Slayer title. I think that would be really hot. Um, especially new emblems. And, and I think Onslaught is a great way, or not Onslaught, Pantheon's a great way. So to bring back old raids and old encounters. So instead of redoing all of Crown, people typically only like the back half of Crown anyway. Same with Eater of Worlds. Like, Eater of Worlds, people really only like Argos. So instead of bringing back the entire Eater of Worlds, maybe eventually they could do that. But uh, it would probably be a lot easier for them just to bring, work on Argos and bring Argos into Pantheon, you know? This is complete copium. Uh, and that way we still have access to the best encounters of old raids and they don't, you know, we don't have to wait for them to have time to work on the entire raid. So instead of saying like, oh, we're gonna work on the four encounters of Crown, they could just work on four greatest hit encounters. You know, they could do Galron and Atrax and um, uh, even, you know, throw in like a fucking uh, Axis or something in there too. You know what I mean? Uh, this is complete copium, but from a, a workflow standpoint, I think it, I think it checks out. Um, I think that would be kind of cool. And eventually, I'm not saying I'll never bring back the full raids or anything, but I'm just saying this would be a way to kind of expedite the best things and get the community excited to play them. So I think that would be really fucking cool. Uh, I also think the newest raid is never going to be in Pantheon. So, like, I think there's a reason Crota didn't make Pantheon because, like, they just want you to go play Crota because it's the newest raid, you know what I mean? So I, if they do bring back Pantheon and they do shuffle the encounters, I would be very surprised if the Witness or whatever was one of the encounters in that. But yeah, like imagine like, okay, they bring back Pantheon next season. They sunset it for a couple months or whatever. They bring it back. They're like, oh, and we have a couple surprises. And then like, yeah, it's like you load it up and the fourth 
encounters fucking Valka or and then the six encounters like Argos or some shit. Like how sick would that be? Complete utter copium for sure. Oh, don't leave. Kind of throwing by using this shitty ass weapon, but I really want to complete this this quest. Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. Uh, no, no, you. We get we get ammo here. Vog isn't on there either. Uh, I think Atheon's one of those you'd probably want to make an emblem around. So it's if they do rotate. Plus, I mean, like, let's be completely honest. Vog isn't a fun raid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I fucking said it, dude. And so if I if I'm choosing like best of encounters, Atheon and and, uh, and fucking Templar are definitely not on that list. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. I know that's gonna piss a lot of people off, but Vog is not a fun raid. <laughs> okay, those are not great encounters. So, um, I'm sorry. Please don't threaten my family. But. Uh, you know, maybe they'll bring it back and they'll use it as a filler encounter uh, later in, in in future iterations of Pantheon or, or whatever. I hope. I hope there are very future. I hope this keeps going. Uh, the end. The end thing I'm trying to say is I really hope Pantheon is not a one and done. I think it is an incredible idea that they could pretty easily iterate on going into the future for a lot of brownie points. So. Um, and sorry if I made you mad by calling Vogue bad, but Vogue's bad. Yeah, like Scourge or Siege Engine, like, yeah. I, I think for, for Pantheon, it looks like they're really focusing on boss encounters. So I, I wouldn't really count Siege Engine, but... Plus, I, I do, like, I'm holding out hope that they're redoing... I'm, I'm very much holding out hope that they are redoing Wrath, so... You want the Wrath and Machine? I want, I want the full, no, Atheon is not a sick encounter, dude. Uh, yeah, I want the entirety as well. I agree. I think I, I would accept uh, bosses in the best of from a lot of Destiny 2 raids because a lot of the raids that aren't in the game, there's only like one or two cool encounters anyways. I would like to eventually be able to play any of the raids. Like, do not get me wrong. But if it expedites the process, I'll take best of Crown, best of Eater, best of Spire. You know, if you bring back Valka Ore, but I don't get the... I think that I'm very happy with that trade-off. Like, hey, we don't have time to work on all of Skirt or all of Spire. But, hey, we can put Valka Ore in Pantheon uh, and Argos in Pantheon. I am very happy with that trade-off, personally. You know what I mean? And this is completely hypothetical and completely cope. But I think um, I can definitely see that from a workflow perspective. And, uh, and it's kind of like that for all of the Destiny... Like, Scourge... Um, I, I think Scourge is probably because it's the most unique out of all the ones from front to back. So like I, maybe a lot of people would like to see a full Scourge. So you get the, the first encounter in the Sparrow section and stuff. I, I see that. But like no one cares about the first half of Eater. No one cares about the first half of Spire. Um, very few people care about the first. I know there are crown first half enjoyers out there. But I think Galron is easily, easily, easily the best part of that raid. Um... I do not have well. Um, I would like to see, out of all the raids we don't have in Destiny, I would like to see the entire Leviathan, and I would like to see the entire of, the entirety of Scourge. All of the rest of the of the raids, I would be cool with a a, a best up selection for Pantheon personally. Because I think so much of the vibe of Leviathan is, like, between encounters and, and, and that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Doing the skips and the, even though they're really basic encounters, I feel like they could rework a lot of them and be cool. But all of the uh, the quote-unquote raid layers, even though I'm a, I'm a huge proponent of not using that, that phrase because I fucking hate it. But, like, you know, 
I feel like all three of the levy raid layers and then Scourge, which is sort of a raid layer as well. Um, I feel like you could very easily just uh, just take the boss encounters of those. They did show Perfect Paradox in the Final Shape trailer. Uh, it's a Titan standing in the in the um, in the tower holding it. I don't. Th it's not like concept art, but it's it's a very staged art. It might be a 3D render, actually. Now that I think about it, but they definitely did show it. Perfect Paradox is the uh, the shotgun from Saint 14. What the gym? What the gym? God, am I almost done with this? I can't believe so many of you all use scout rifles all the time. How? How do you enjoy the game if you only ever use scout rifles? What is happening? <laughs> 84. Oh, I'm gonna... This is not a good spot. I thought it was a good spot. I was wrong. How do you enjoy the game playing only solo or warlock? Don't say mobility. The answer is mobility. The 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 only reason I exclusively play on solo or warlock for the most part is because of the the mobility. You can't tell me to not say the the only real answer. If I wasn't a movement kid, or if Warlock was not the best movement class in the game, Solar Warlock specifically, I would not only play on Solar Warlock. This is a game it is it is as simple as. Make me proud. There is no other answer. I have no other answer because I do not have another answer, and there is no other answer. What's your opinion on of Blink? I do not like Blink. I do like Terraba a lot. I haven't used it in a while, and I would like to, because uh, I think Terraba is is a very fun exotic. Um, but I'm not a fan of Blink. I I've always thought like a super levy raid would be really cool, but I mean that's just so much work for like no reason. Or if they bring back Levy, but it's only, like, the best encounters. You know, they bring back Leviathan, but, you know, they get rid of Baths and they replace it with Valkor. And they get rid of, like, fucking... Or they just add another one. And they add... Because I, I, re I think Gauntlet and Gardens, I think, are really cool. I, I would not want them to get rid of those encounters. And same with Axis Or, uh, Kallus. But I would love if they found a way to work in Valkor and Argos into that raid. I think that would be fucking sick. So... The Levy Pantheon, yeah. Yeah, Vivo, with that, we're, this conversation is stemming off of the Pantheon conversation. I'm telling you, learning Blink on console makes you a machine. That is a different, so that is something. Like, remember every time I'm talking about movement or anything, like, I am specifically talking as a mouse and keyboard player. Yeah, this was really probably my best well I've ever done, honestly. I think the my well abilities need to be studied for future generations to really become masters at, at Destiny, I think. So like I was definitely not as much of a movement enjoyer on on controller. Cause it's just kinda harder to be that. And maybe that's changed with a lot of the sensitivity changes and stuff, but
Well, you'll be able to... You'll be able to use Blink on Prismatic now. So, you will be able to use it on every class. Or every subclass, I guess. If you have a custom control with that. Yeah, I had a scuff. I had a scuff. Oh, fuck. Shrimp, you have the well. There's no way Buddy ran to the other side of fucking... That's crazy. Man ran all the way to fucking Uzbekistan and was like, yes, I will I will well over here. I guess, you know, get him away from the point. That's fair. <laughs> Bro, stop typing and kill the fucker. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus, I'm done. It's over. Oh, I just threw that way off in the distance. No, I'm I am still the most dedicated scout rifle hater. I'm using this because Bungie is forcing my hand. 92% world was done. Oh my god. I've never been so excited in my life. Prismatic Warlock is going to be hot, but it I I not the movement. Because you can't Icarus Dash or Well Skate on Prismatic. So I actually think the movement's gonna be one of the worst parts of Prismatic. Unfortunately. But, uh... But, I think it'll still be incredibly powerful, so... Oh, nice. <laughs> fair enough, shrimp. Fair enough. Watch this. We're about to get the shiny roll right here. Right here. Everything dies. Shit. But when you're around, it happens so Shit. much faster. I mean, you don't need crazy movement if everything falls over. Uh, crazy movement is not about surviving. It's about zooming. I mean, in some in ca cases, encounters it is, but for me, it's not about like surviving. Uh, was that not only? Yeah. It is. Uh, it is. Ex it is exclusively about just zooming around the game. Yo, what's up, Poner? How you doing, buddy? Uh, I don't know if they definitely will. But uh, I think that is an easy win for them to incorporate more fragments and supers and stuff into Prismatic. Definitely. It would just be cool if, like, throughout the episodes, we just got, like, smaller abilities. It's like, oh my god, we just discovered a new, a new darkness grenade. But, like, they don't release the whole subclass or anything. And it's like a resonance grenade, and it's only available throughout prismatic first and then like they're building it they it allows them to essentially build smaller parts of a new subclass before releasing the entire thing and kind of tease us with it i think that would be fucking sick personally it's like one week we get there's a fucking community puzzle and we solve it and then it's like oh whoa what is what is this a resonance aspect what does this do and it introduces a new verb out of nowhere but it's not the whole subclass it's just like a small part of the whole subclass you know that sort of thing i think that could be so hype I'm, okay, I'm gonna have to take this off. I'm like so close to finishing this, but it is actually horrendous.
If anyone ever recommends Prometheus or whatever the fuck Polaris to me unironically ever again, you're getting banned. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the bad one. Nah, it's not but not even possible. All right, Andre, I'm timing you out. Next wave, I'm timing your ass out. You're going in timeout for 15 minutes for that shit, dude. You're all getting timed out. I'm so close to done with it though. It's like... You think it's over there this time? Okay, Andre, you're being pretty toxic right now. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of that's kind of crazy, bro. Shit, he hit that. Look at that. God damn. Polaris coins. Same to you. Uh, technically, if you want, like, the most easy brainless farm, uh, it's just go to level 10 in Legend and re -queue. So it's like, do the first, go up to the first boss fight, kill the first boss, loot those chests, and then re -queue. Uh, Midtown is probably a little faster. I think Vostok's way easier, but for the first 10 rounds, it doesn't matter. Um, so you just get a good team and farm the first 10. I like doing full 50s because it's more entertaining. Sounds good, shrimp. Hell yeah, brother. Um, level 50 takes generally about the same amount of time. It's a little slower. It's more entertaining. Um, but yeah, there's not there's not really a true incentive to do all 50, truly. Other than like, it's just interesting. Oh, I 
keep fucking doing that. The amount of tangles I've thrown at the ADU is ridiculous. Yeah, you get one extra chest, but it's like... Not really that big of a deal. This is your shrimp. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Make me proud. I waste the video now. Yeah, I'm gonna be farming for all the shinies. It's just, so, it is so good. I said this with the slammer a little bit, but this is like the truest form of this. Like finally having weapons to farm and just like, you can just like sit here and do like a four or five hour farming session across multiple days and you're just a sweaty little gremlin. That's my happy space, chat. You know what I mean? It just means a lot to me to be able to do that. Like, what did you do productive to make you a functioning member of society today? Literally nothing. I sat in my chair and I, for eight hours, I farmed a fucking PNG of a shiny weapon. And honestly, that's my best goddamn life. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, it's nice. It is so nice. Everything dies, God. But when you're around, so thank you, Bungie, so for making us all fun. degenerates. <laughs> uh, I don't think they'll remove it. On, uh, I'd be very surprised if they removed it on, um, on, uh, what? Probably this turret then. Um, here, I'm gonna buy this too, just to slow things down. I'm just gonna get the, the beginning of the turret. Um, what the, I don't even fucking remember what I was gonna say. Oh, I don't, I don't think they'll remove Cascade Point from Edge Transit, but it's, I, I think it'll work very differently. I think it'll reset if you switch to it or something. Or maybe they remove it. I don't know. I fucking hate streak rounds, dude. Oh, 
that's not good. Do you got that one, Shred? Jesus Christ, they came out of nowhere. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, at least our, our shiny odds aren't ridiculous, so. <laughs> yeah, I think we get... Usually there's a decoy right here, but usually there's not a turret right there. So I think we got this turret instead of this decoy. I, don't, I do not think that is a good trade. I do not think that I do not think that they will mess with the drop rates at all with the weapons. The, on, on Twitter, the devs have been pretty against it. Maybe, maybe like in the final week, they give us a special event where the drop rates are like doubled or something. I can maybe see that potentially just to get people farming like the last week before the final shape or something. Maybe. But, um, I do not think there will be a permanent increase at all. Uh, after. Yeah. Execute all targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. Because I still got six shots, so. Yeah, I would like, uh, I, I'm on team guaranteed after round 50 as well, but they also seem to be pretty against that as well. Like devs have commented on that and it does not look like they like that idea. So I, I would not uh, hold your breath on that one happening. Uh, Ben, I think Onslaught and Into the Light are all very fun. It's up to you, like, uh, if you like farming or not, but I, th I think this event is incredibly good. How about an Escalating Oz for completed 10 waves? Maybe. I don't know. I think, honestly, like, I don't, I really, really don't like messing with the idea of increased odds or at all across the board. Um, I don't know. Like, I, th I still think they should, and, and you know, maybe it's like a 0.1% to a 0.2%, but you're still doubling the odds, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know what the odds are. I did, I, you know, one guaranteed for spending an hour, I think is, is fine, more than reasonable, but. Yo, what's up, Klausig? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, but there's a big difference between a raid exotic and a and a cosmetic though, right? Like raid exotics are literally game changing. Shiny weapons are very much not game changing. I mean they're game changing in the sense of like I want to play the game. <laughs> but they don't they don't actually like, change the dynamic of the game. Especially now that they're fixing the cascade. Now that they're fixing the cascade perk, there's no or cascade point perk. Do extra weapons or uh, perks are actually just like not better. Right? There's no, there's functionally no difference. 
and having two two guns with two edge transits with the different perk sets you want versus one with the special ornament with both perk sets that you want on a single weapon. There's there's no functional difference there. Um Ammo economy. When you swap to the same weapon, your ammo economy is already pretty good. Unless you're switching to, from like a like a not bipod to a bipod or something. But like weapon type within weapon type is not honestly that bad. Vault space. They're adding 100 slots. If you have 600 fucking guns, like I think that's your problem. I don't know. I don't. It's really not that big of a deal. I don't. I don't think it's enough to justify uh, really fucking freaking out. It is p almost entirely cosmetic. You want LC's roll with a good PvE and PvP roll? Yeah, but like, what is the functional difference between that and just having a PvE one and a PvP one? Unless you are really hard pressed for one vault slot. There's no difference, you know what I mean? It doesn't, you know, you're not gonna have a better crucible gun because it also happens to have a PvE roll on it, you know? So it's, it's not really that big deal. After the MBS Cascade fix, it doesn't matter anymore. That's, yeah, that's, like, literally what I... I think I... Those were my exact Excuse words just now, Wobby. Like, I completely sure agree. I, I do not... They don't have any additional functionality. Y'all are getting PvP rolls? <laughs> so... It's almost entirely cosmetic. 95% cosmetic. 5% saving one vault space... So, I don't think it's a big deal, personally. I don't think there's any reason to ask for an increase in drop rate. I, I do, like I said, like, okay, one guaranteed shiny uh, after a legend to make it actually, like, worth doing over a normal. That's one thing. Like, I think that's a, a reasonable request, I suppose, but I fucking hate it. I'm out. I, dude, I dumped nine rockets. Bait switch, I'm done. I got nothing else. Handle my special. Guardian down. No, they said they were looking into the relationship between Envious and Cascade, so that shit will definitely be fixed. I mean, it's just, it is just, like, factually broken, though, you know? Oh, that's gonna be a shiny. Ooh. Kind of bad. It's not shiny. I do not care. Trash. No, I'm deleting it. Fuck it. It's not shiny, Wobby. Not shiny. Not worth my time. Uh, upgrade everything. Nah. Yeah. Shiny or bust, 100%. I will just use my... If I do not get a perfect shiny, I will just use my cataphract. I do not care. I'm that stubborn. If it ain't shiny, I don't want it. That is exactly true. Exactly true. The shinies have double perks. It's not even about the double perks, though. It's about the prestige. 
If I can't load into a tower and absolutely flex on a guardian t uh, guardian rank one, not fucking interested, okay? Would I look like some nerd who just plays the game optimally? Absolutely not. I want to crush some new player's dreams. See this shit, new kid? You're never getting this. Enjoy your new late campaign. <laughs> dude, fuck this guy, this shrieker. Oh my god. I just killed you, dude! What's a nice hung jury roll? Uh, I think if you hold, if you're on uh, PC and you hold F on it, it'll show you the best roll for hung jury. It's just a little glitch in the game, actually. It's kind of weird. Hungary's a waste of time. Dead content. Do not do not spend your time wait farming Hungary. Come on. Not only is this scout rifle, but it's a scout rifle we've had 12 times. Like, yikes. I low key thought that was advice. <laughs> no, you know what's crazy about Hungary is if, uh, the the four legendary shards that are. Go oh fuck. The four legendary shards that are about to be sunset are still worth more than a hungry. <laughs> oh, we should have let Shax die there, dude. Man's not, he's not feeling so hot. That is not fully upgraded. Dog. Yeah, I think uh, I think the choice to bring back Hung Jury instead of anything else will truly go down as one of the most bungee choices of all time. But it's all right. We got. I, I would be a lot more angry. I would be. I'm not even angry about it. I would be a lot. I would be angry about it if we only got like six guns. But the fact we got twelve, you know what I mean? We got twelve guns. We got twice the amount that we normally get, and it's like three of them succession, forbearance, and Hung Jury or. Meh. You know, I'm fine with that. That's fine. We still got nine weapons, which is 50% more than we usually get. So I'm I'm happy with that personally. Plus, Onslaught is literally the perfect place to just keep bringing back. You know, like every six months, have a refresh. Hey, look, new weapons. We're adding stuff to the mode. Something like that. Like, I think that would be so good, dude. I... They probably won't do that, but it would be sick. Don't kill everything. Get the, get the dog, get the dog. I mean, they brought back Hung Jury. Yeah, but like once again, though, we still get we still get a ton of awesome weapons to farm, more than we normally would. So it's it's fine. It is a very questionable decision. This is a game but you know, it's fine. I'm sure they have their reasons or whatever. Make me proud. Maybe that's why Onslaught isn't being removed. I think it's just like a like a Dares equivalent, where it's just like we all hoped the same thing for Dares when it came out two years ago or whatever, right? That would be a constantly evolving piece of content, and that's just like not. That never happened, and it's fine. Like I get it. They're free activities, and uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to keep doing that sort of stuff, I guess. But I still think it would be fucking sick. Uh, we already got a sniper. I don't think they would have really brought back two snipers plus whisper right so succession and whisper 
I would like to see like an auto rifle, like a Chroma Rush or Steel Feather. But my copium is that they're saving those weapons to bring back, especially the Dawn ones in a, in a larger capacity. A triumph in tactics. Martyr's Retribution? Uh, yeah, that'd be all right. I think wave frames are kind of saturated at this point, but it'd be kind of cool. Yeah, black armory weapons I'd love to see more of, personally. Black armor weapons and dawn weapons, I hope. I hope. Maybe with the episodes or something, I think would be really sick, but we shall see. Who knows? Nah, Warmind Cells are gone, dog. They uh, they put so much effort into in into the new the new and simplified build crafting stuff. Uh, we're we're never seeing that shit again. That that shit is sunset harder than Luke Smith was sunset before he came back out of the the DCV to tell us that the future of Destiny is is bright, which I really appreciated. Um, but uh, no, that's the, those extra those extra things are never coming back. I miss War Mind Cells a lot too. I really liked the the differentiated combat uniqueness of having you know three different major build types. But I get it, you know, it's very complicated. And they put so much work into three and simplifying build crafting and stuff like that. That shit is never it's not going away ever. All right, we definitely, we have not had a Tormentor, I do not believe, this run. Oh, maybe we did over there. I actually think we did, but I, I would be shocked if we don't get a Tormentor next round. Bro, we're in, oh yeah, I'm stop hanging. All right, I'm, I'm ready to fucking, oh, Demolitionist, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here. Movius is very dead. We're not? You got this? Okay, 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 okay. I didn't think he saw the spawn. But he knows what he's doing. I ha what? Forgot to switch my rockets again. Toxic. Alrighty. Execute all targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. Uh, technically, <gasps> I panicked. I go I looked away from my screen and like out of my peripheral saw that at like the last second. I thought I was gonna fucking die. Oh my god. Oh, a heavy break right there. That's good to keep in mind.
goodbye. Tormentors! Tormentors! What's more unto the breach? <laughs> Uh, yes, I do think the straw parade of shiny weapons is, is good. I would like to see uh, a guaranteed one at the Legends, but other than that, I, I think they're in a very, very good spot, personally. Yeah, 50. So that took us 55 minutes for 10 rounds. Or for 50 rounds. Um, and we didn't have to re queue every time, so. So it's pretty much the exact same pace as farming 10. We got an extra chest. Uh, we didn't have to requeue a ton. So I, it's really up to you how you want to farm it. I think this is way more fun to do full 50. The problem is, is if you go to like 49 or if you get to like a nine round, you know, when the higher ones, 39, 49, um, 29, and you die, then that is a ton of time loss, right? So 50 rounds is 11 chests, 10 rounds is two chests. Yeah, exactly. So it's like you get, you get, one extra chest across the entire run. Uh, attunement should not affect shiny rates, no. It should only affect you getting that specific gun. I thought that was a good roll for a second. That is a good roll, right? What's the roll you want on this thing? Is there one? Firing line. What from gold? I mean, that's a. Oh shit! Everything else though. Every new threat, there's a new cadre of guardians to forge. I don't really need a succession. Yeah, I've also gotten zero shinies today. The reef. See, the that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, I'm fine with the drop rate, the random drop rate. But if we spend two hours farming, right? I did two full. We all did two full legend runs, and between the three of us, one shiny. I I truly feel like if you spend an hour and you conquer what is essentially the hardest activity right now, fifth wave fifty onslaught legend, I feel like yeah, you should be entitled to a free shiny chance. Uh, personally. But that's it. I, I, the random drop, I think, is fine. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Make me proud. Good luck. I haven't done Moth Yards, so... Fourth what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Lead for Gold is a highly underrated perk by most of the community. If you're like a... If you're a low mana or solo raid person like you know how good blood from gold can be but everyone else overlooks it yo movius you fucking good buddy
Wait, what? You have the world record for fastest floor to pinnacle, and I'm genuinely surprised when it uses it as? What does that even mean? What is floor to pinnacle? How is that a world? Are there actual speedrun leaderboards for that? Yo, Hammy, thank you for the five gifted. If, uh, hey, if you get gifted a, a sub by Hammy, please make sure to thank them. Always, always way too nice to me. Thank you so much, Hammy. Fucking legend. Yo, what's up, misleading? How are you doing? Dude, I want I want the god roll shiny today, man. I'm done waiting, Chris Proctor. I want the god roll shiny now. It actually like the fact that they're fixing Cascade Point has really made my life a lot easier because I was going for the god roll nine out of nine or whatever seven out of seven. But uh, now that I don't have to worry about that shit anymore, I'll take I'll take just a normal one. Yeah, this map probably will not be very fun for Onslaught, but we need it. It's the last thing I need for the Onslaught Triumphs, so. Might as well. God roll, uh, envious, um, bait and switch. Jesus Christ, what do you mean? This map is too big. Yeah, different boss triumph, yeah. Uh, I think augmented is technically the best. Or mini frag, I forget. One of those is definitely the best, I don't fucking remember. It's all like within a couple percents. Whichever one is uh, a little real faster reload, I think. Spike then mini frag. Man, I didn't even notice. Not only are we playing moth yards, but we got um, we got fallen as well. That's pain. Fallen are way worse than hive. Oh, augmented? I didn't know augmented gave you an extra shot. Okay. Well then, yeah, that's gonna be busted. Busted as in marginally better. <laughs> the best definition of the word busted, actually. Oh, mini frags also gives you extra. All right, yeah, so Wabi, now that we don't care about the double, the cascade roll at all, right? Just envious. Does that change which which mag you think we want? Should I uh, produce my petroleum on site or have a dedicated petroleum site? Uh, I think it matters the scale. 
And also, if you think that you, you're going to need to skirt some laws in the future, it's easier to make a shell company if it's this a different a site, and then you just sell it to like a make me proud. like a an offshoot of your company and have them take the legal fall. It just kind of depends whether you, you're wanting to make any oil spills in the future or anything. Yo, what's up, Lance? But I would say also if you want to do a lot of transporting, like let's say you're doing you're doing petroleum chemistry, but you're using it to make like a different monomer set or something. Like you're cracking it, and you're getting the ethane and propane and ethylene uh, stuff you would normally get from cracking. But you also want to take that and make more complex monomers out of it. Um, I would probably do on site. Just kind of depends how much you want to shield yourself. Are you serious? Are you serious? Double frozen? This is what they call a righteous infliction. You want spike with me? Yeah, so that's what it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm in a true. No, Archie is not available yet. I believe uh, potentially next week. Okay, Wobby. Good to know. Good to know. It's so unfortunate that on my one shine, my one shine is so close to being good. I just got literally just fucked on the mags or er, not the mags the uh the grenades whatever you would call those i don't fucking know topic number four in oh fuck uh oh i do know this give me a sec to uh nine Oh, that's low. It's somewhere on there. Nine or eleven. Something like that. I pull out. Do I have my wallet? I don't have my wallet. I've never been good at uh, that sort of stuff. I look. I'm an organic chemist, or I'm a polymer chemist, but it's mostly organic chemistry, right? So I do some halogen chemistry, or have in the past. But the the reality is, is uh. Dog, I work with carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and that's about it. You know, some some metals in there too. But when you do chemistry with these things, you don't have quite, have quite an atomic number doesn't goddamn matter. You know what I mean? Their molecular weight is way more important. I think Victoria, when we were in high school, I think she uh, almost, or she attempted to, or she did, she learned the periodic table song. Since you have a PhD, are you actually Dr. Scarrow? Yes. Do not tell my professors I didn't just pull the atomic number of Another porn out of my one. ass. What is it? On to the next fight. Oh, it is nine. Get fucked, losers. Mm. Do not question me. The reason I pulled nine out because I knew I had seven valence electrons, and I was like, okay, well, helium and then seven, that's nine. And I knew it was the first halogen. That's like the easiest basic ass question. Like, I should have known that even without thinking, but you know what? I gen chemmed my way to that shit, okay? Get fucked. I do what I want. Why do I get the impression that your job is about not accidentally making explosions? Uh, it was actually in grad school. That's much closer because I did a lot more small molecule chemistry. Um, ooh, I haven't been in here yet. This is kind of cool. But in, uh, I make polymers now, right? I do, like, melt state polymerization. It's, and it's not even, like, free radical polymerization. So I don't have to worry about, like, the Tramsdorf effect or anything. It's, it is very hard for me to make explosions, is my point. Um, I make plastics, you know? So... Not something I'm really uh, concerned about. I mean, it's always like a concern, but it's not like a... I don't really work with a lot of volatile or um, 
entire four substances or anything in my in my current job. So. Oh my. I need a track and rocket launcher. I'm taking, I'm only taking a precision frame into the final shape raid race. What about plastic explosives? Uh, I do not work with C4 now. <laughs> I have a friend who actually does though. I thought to myself, is that she works at a different company, stop? but. But no, it was you. It's kind of cool. Lights on your opponents. I love it. Yeah, that's right, Palmyra. That's right. Um, but now my, uh, not really anything explosive. I've done some small molecule stuff, high pressure stuff. So it's like, yeah, uh, you know, with oxygen or hydrogen, not a, not a lot, but I do some. But no, not, not many explosives. It's bad for business if things explode, you know what I mean? So, like, big companies, they very much limit what you can work on. They very much, uh, restrict... Like, if it's going to explode, would it be approved? Because that's a huge lawsuit, you know what I mean? If C4 is so good, why is there not C5 yet? I mean, just because you don't know about C5 doesn't mean it doesn't exist, don't you? you know what I mean? You ever think about that? Like Ocean Gate? Ocean Gate was not an explosion, it was an implosion. Those are inherently very different. Actually kind of like the polar opposite, really. Uh, yeah, well, I can't fucking read it, shrimp. It's all censored. Surgery for mountain. I just throw another tangle at this shit. Oh, that's kind of a cool spawn for that guy. Tormentors are definitely easiest on this map. If you're having trouble with tormentors, this is the this is the map for you. That was that was really sick that it spawned up there. Alright, Shrimp, I'm done reading your messages. You lost ru the, the privilege. Alright, one more. No, okay, I shouldn't have read that. Nope, I'm not opening it anymore. You will not be heard. <laughs>
Thank you, Candace. What is the, uh, what's the release date for the next weapons, everyone? Like, what, uh, what to come Tuesday, what to come the week after, etc.? Midnight Mountaintop next week. Ooh, next week is peak. Holy shit, dude. Midnight Mountaintop. That's crazy. We are going to be fucking farming next week. Jesus Christ. What's the week after? I'm in Hawaii the week after that, so I hope... Hopefully that's a bad week. Forbearance. I do want to go to Hammerhead, but Forbearance is like whatever. I don't this care is about the that. Gauge of pure combat potential. Make me proud. Oh, it's Hammer. Wait. I don't know why I did that. That was a good well. Yeah, Hammer Forbearance is gonna go all right, I guess. Hammerhead's really good. I'm excited. Then Blast Furnace and Lunas. I don't really care that much about Blast Furnace. Uh, I do want a really good Lunas, though. Luckily, we got plenty of time. I mean, we got fucking... Even after all the weapons come out, we have another month to farm, so... I, I shall... I shall be farming. Them. Love it. I shall be farming. Oh. Yo, what's up, Maiden? How you doing? It takes all week to get a shiny, single shiny god roll. I mean, not on the streamer servers. Surely Bungie will give me a god roll this run, right? Bungie, if you want me to keep providing free marketing, you will give me a shiny god roll this game, okay? Okay, Bungie? No, Mothyard sucks. <laughs> We're doing it because uh, it has a different boss, so we're um, we're just getting it out of the way for the triumph. Do it. No, we don't spend any scrap for the first twenty, and then we only buy one decoy for the next twenty, and then we spend everything on forty to fifty. But this will be my last onslaught triumph. And then I can just focus on farming. Oh man, I can't hit my shots. Oh Jesus. Okay. Uh oh. No, no, there's another one, there's another one, Mobius! Oh Jesus, he's making me really nervous. Oh my god. Oh. 
Everything's fine. 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 We are not wiping on round 18. I would never, ever, ever live that down. We're fine. Good job, movies. Good clutch. I'm opening this. Oh, I hate Fallen so much, dude. I hate Fallen. I'm just gonna... Yo, Sod, what's up, buddy? Fallen are way worse than Hive. Moth Yards is way worse than Vostok. That's the official Scarrow tier list. Hopefully this boss is a little bigger. Victory is a matter of will. Oh, that's kind of true, SK. Actually, you're cooking. You're cooking. I should have been using it for the first like ten rounds. No, it looks near only the good ones. Press some even. What's up, Bjorn? How you doing, buddy? How about that line brawl in the Tage Thompson fight after uh, the last game? That was fucking sick. All right, Bungie. We get it. You're really funny. Give me my... Give me my shiny drop. All right. Uh, probably this one. Or this one. You think this one? Just gonna get my last couple of kills with this. On Thompson, or do we have another son on top of this stage? Wait, what? Uh, yeah, dude, the new Era album is fucking crazy. What's even crazier is I was convinced the Era album was gonna be my album of the year, and then fucking Eminence comes and drops an absurd album yesterday. No, they were Phoenix first. For a couple seasons there, Phoenix Coyotes and then the Arizona Coyotes. Oh, on 
Thompson Road. Oh, I see. Sorry. That's sick. Oh, I'm so done. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Never using a scout rifle ever again. Catch me dead. Uh, imminence is, uh, I wouldn't call it, uh, era's like very, you know, like kind of proggy, genty. Imminence is, uh, more symphonic. They're metalcore still, but they're very, their lead singer plays violin. They're so good. Oh, Jesus. I would not expect any drop rate increases with how the Bungie devs have been talking about it. I do not think that they will increase anything. Let's go, Arska. Uh, I am mostly looking for eager or um, what's this fucking thing called? Edge Transit, Mountaintop, LC's Rifle, Luna's Howl, or, or and uh, Hammerhead are like my big five. Um, off the top of my head, I do not know how many coins I've been having per run. Depends how many bonuses you do, right? And the, if you get any of the bonus tormentor waves, but, um, probably 25 or so. These invisible guys are like literally the fucking worst. As soon as I saw this was falling, I should have, uh, I should have requeued. Req until you get hive every time. No, recluse is kind of dead content, to be honest. I'm glad other people are going to use it, but. If I get, happen to get one with desperate measures, I'll keep it, but it's uh, it's kind of dead content. It, it doesn't even hold a fucking candle to Iklos or Sunshot or Zowies or Mida. spawn point right here. Those overloads fucking cook, dude. They go. They're like... Poof, 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 poof. They're gone all the way. your opponents and survive. Victory is a matter of will. I think Indomitable or Indomitable uh, will be very good on Prismatic. Fight Stinger is good, but um, it just has, it literally has the perfect synergy with Prismatic, right? The whole light and dark dealing damage with, so. Like, what's the exact perk read? 
Final blows grant grenade energy when playing a light subclass or melee energy when playing a darkness subclass. So like, what is pr does prismatic? It'll pro I guess it'll probably be based on your super, I suppose. So maybe not, maybe not. It'll probably be whatever your super is, I'm guessing. Harmonic mods will almost certainly be your super too. They had a lot of aspects that were based off of your super. Yo, see you, Hive Dio. Thanks for hanging out. God, Juicer Gold Transit. Oh, let's go. See, that's one thing that's cool. Like, I hope they keep all these drop rates rare. Because then, like, you can brag about it, and it's like, we're all excited for each other when we finally get that ridiculously rare drop. Like, that's such a cool thing that we just don't have in Destiny anymore, you know what I mean? Makes it so much better when you finally get yours. Dog, I couldn't even tell you what Pugilist does. Sheesh. Excited and jealous. You gotta hype up the homies, though. You know what I mean? Night rounds are way better than Captain. Bonus wave, bonus wave. I got it. Oh, I should have picked up the fucking heavy. Love me some good supremacy action. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Make me proud. Uh, I loved uh, devs tweeting people saying these weapons should stay rare. I it is nice. It is it is good to see Bungie like stand on their on their concepts. You know. I feel like recently they've been kind of getting pushed around a little bit and on some things that don't really matter, but this, it's like they had an idea and they're sticking to it, which I think is pretty cool. This spacing is not even between all of these and that is disgusting. They need to change that right now. Oh, Briggy boy, let's go. Bro, I, I was standing there the whole time. I didn't even, I didn't even strafe, man. I'm being gaslit. This is crazy. That is just not even fair. 
Or does this kill us? I do not like this, not one bit. Nope! Goodbye! I've never faced this boss before. I did not. Fallen is just so bad. Do, if you're going for round 50, re until you get hype. I swear. It is a hundred times easier. Do not even bother with the Fallen. They are so bad to fight. Everything dies. Come on, give me that shiny. Around, that's it. That's a shiny edge transit on the ground right so there. Much Boop. Shit. Shit. How do you feel about Panera? Not a huge fan. How do you feel about Edge of Tomorrow? It's that, uh, that movie with Tom Cruise. Bro, Panera is like the most overpriced sandwich you'll ever get. Go to just go to the fucking Publix. Get yourself a, an entire quart of soup and an entire foot long sub and a dessert cheaper than Panera. Uh, no, I haven't seen either of the Dunes. I want to wait until the trilogy is done to watch them. Just kind of how I prefer to do things generally especially because i'm not like a huge i didn't grow up on dune or anything so it's like i'm not really ingrained in the franchise so i, I just kind of want to like i'll get there but i have so many like open i like getting really into stuff right like i having a good working knowledge of things and it's just like i i can't afford to do that with too many other franchises so i only have so much brain space for that shit so it's just i'll wait watch them all at once Never think about it again. Oh, Eyes of Tomorrow. <laughs> Thought you were talking about one of the fucking glaives, dude. Uh, Eyes of Tomorrow. No, I haven't. I bet that shit's kind of goaded, though. I didn't think about that. I remember for a while for GM speeds, Eyes of Tomorrow was like the go-to because you could just clear ads so fast with it. I totally forgot that was a fucking gun until right now. Got five shinies in the first 550 round games. Yeah, that's, I mean, dude, you're fucking, you, you spent your RNG, that's crazy. Uh, is it worth grinding succession? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna assume if you're part of my audience, then you already have regular succession and you already have supremacy, so I would say probably not. Oh shit, it's weak, boys. It's real weak. I've not been paying attention.
That was good. This is a game. All right, good recovery. Combat potential. Make me proud. I've never been killed by Shatter in PvE. Shatter in PvE. That's insane. The Fallen are a fucking menace, dude. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> God damn. Some of these waves do go pretty fast, admittedly, though. Siva? Does this mean the witness took Siva? Siva subclass incoming? Not good, boys. Not good. It is very weak. No! There are no losses. Only less. Bro! I fucking hate the Fallen, dude.
I hate the Fallen so much, dude. They're just teleporting all over the fucking place and they're invisible. It's like, just calm down. We don't need this in our lives, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know boss talk is easier. We need the triumph for this one though. So that's triumph I need. Nothing to help you but your team and your Oh hi, let's go. Thank you, Bungie. Alright, well, more chances to get the transit then. You know? Huh. Got the perfect one shot yeah, transit. Delete it, Wobby. Delete it. Not worth it. Not trying to equal, it's not good enough. How? Where did this guy even come from? Probably, you could probably see him walk right past my screen. Or some shit. Did no one go check where that guy came from, actually. Now that I think about it. Let's just assume he teleported right in. Is this thing gonna drop like one enemy? Yeah, that's so cool, Duck. This ADU is just actually like ridiculous to defend. Things just fly right to it. Hard fought victory, Guardian. Brother, get away from me! What are you doing? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Indigo? That guy was like, you are not rocketing me, okay? <laughs> Man. <laughs> what are you looking on the transit? Um, envious paint switch. Nice, Indigo, that's sick. I just got the new Void SMG with subsistence test for measures to add a good roll. Uh, if you like it. I don't think it's a very good gun, personally, but... If it fits in your playstyle, sure. Is Tarantia gonna be better than Cataphract? Uh, the... Origin traits better. And then, um... 
Solar's a, a usually a better surge than Strand, so. And enhanced and enhanced perks as well. So it's like marginally better. I wouldn't worry. If you already have a god roll cataphract, I really wouldn't worry about it. I mean Do we even is it does advanced envious exist? Surely something is it. I I can't even I can't think of one off the top of my head. And Adept Bane Switch just lasts a little longer. What does Adept Envious do? Oh, fewer kills to proc. That's actually probably, you're probably right. Oh my god. Play of controller. Yeah, fast reload from kills. Okay. Yeah, I mean, dude, enhanced envious is actually pretty goaded. Then, especially in like six-man activities where it's a little harder to get all your kills versus solos. Um. Enhanced envious is probably worth it. And ba uh, enhanced band switch is at like last like an additional second, right? I feel like brother, what is up with these fucking knights? Can you leave me alone? Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. Yeah, so that's kind of goaded actually. And then uh, surges as well, harmonic surges. Does that exist? Can I just make that up? That does not exist, does it? It should. Harmonic surges should be a thing. That's sick. Bungie, I'm calling on you to make harmonic surges. I mean, it'd be overpowered, right? Fewer costs. Do you think so, Junior? I'm glad you believe in me, because I don't. Uh, resetting, uh, resetting, resetting shacks. Uh, no, it's not possible. He doesn't have any like you can see in the API when vendors like switch what they sell next time Like next rotation and stuff. Shax doesn't have any of that So the fact he's flashing like you are able to reset him is likely the actual bug. I Think for the sake of farming you should be able to reset him though So you get more engrams and stuff I think I can bounce that over. Oh, I hit that we're fucking we're gaming Watch this. Look, if ugh, hit that snipe, that was crazy. Yeah, probably. I love the ships that spawn in with one enemy. That's sick.
gonna destroy my well. Okay, I think it's gonna be a great day one practice, especially with new mechanics. Um, That's how you should be. I mean, there's no additional mechanics, right? It's just modifiers. I haven't seen any evidence of, of new mechanics. But uh, yeah, it will be great practice. I mean, eight bosses on contest mode is is kind of brutal if you think about it. That's not gonna be easy. And it's gonna take a long time. I'm very curious to see if there's checkpoints. Yeah, I thought I was originally thinking that there was going to be um, extinguish on it. it. It's not in the in the database, so it doesn't look like it. And then, like thinking thinking about it, like eight bosses on contest with extinguish is kind of ridiculous. So it's probably better that there's no extinguish on it. That that'd be kind of pretty fucked, actually. But put your enemies down before. Yeah, it would be cool, but it would be pretty fucked. Like, no one would beat it. A couple of teams would. Yeah. The coolest emblem in the... The only animated emblem in the franchise. Yeah, I bet it'll be checkpointed as well. This is the god roll right here. Tormentors. Never mind. No, it would be cool. It would be cool if, they, if there was an animated emblem. There is not. But if it was all on, con if you beat it on contest, oh, uh, you beat it on contest with uh, extinguish on it. That'd be sick. Yeah, it's a That's time gated. No, I'm this is only 10, right? No, it's only we're we've only been here 13 minutes. Thanks, Bray. Appreciate it. But yeah, I'm so excited for Pantheon. I think Pantheon is going to be one of the coolest things they've ever done. I'm very excited for it. Those emblems are absurd. 
And just the fact the final emblem has like an Easter egg of all of the, it ha maybe not an Easter egg, but it has all of the other bosses in it. And they're kind of hard to see, but they're in there. I, that's so cool. Uh, no shinies today. This has probably been my longest time without a shiny the entire week. No, it is it is definitely time gated. There you can see quests. There's quests uh, to find Archie in the database. Uh, Ada one gives them to you, so definitely time gated. Oh fuck. That is the one thing this map has going for it. Uh, tormentors are way easier on this map. Easily the easiest Tormentor map. Yeah, I know. I need that. Break. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing uh, th four or five legends a day since launch day, though. Maybe three or four since launch day. I usually get, well, you know, two or three drops a day. Um, today has just been, they just have not been dropping. Uh, right now, Ed's Transit, but I want to get Ed's Transit, Elsie's Rifle, Luna's Howl, Mountaintop are the big ones. Uh, Hammerheads, I would like as well. Envious Cascade? No, they said they were going to fix that. So I don't care about the Envious Cascade. I literally just want an uh, Envious Bane Switch. So it's not worth spending your time getting one. <laughs> well, thanks for leaving it playing, Crispy. Help the analytics a little bit. Appreciate that. Oh, fuck. I really don't want to talk about it.
This is the best of the three spots for sure. This one's so easy up on a hill. That one's all right. That one sucks. Down in the middle of two planes. That one's so bad. The, I, if I had to guess, they'll make it so when you switch off of Envious, you lose the extra rounds. That's how I would fix it, but I don't... I don't know. Moth Yards is very slow. Or if you just switch to Cascade, then it, uh... Then it doesn't activate as well, but I'm not sure how... Seems like it'd be harder to implement. That's how I would do it. They did, they haven't told us how they were gonna do it, but that's how I would do it. I think that's like the be the surest way to fix it, but because I would fit stop like future broken interactions too, right? But I don't know like how feasible that is from a tech perspective. Cascade only on default? Uh, yeah, maybe. But that seems like... I don't know. That seems like it would be harder and wouldn't work to fix future interactions. Uh, Elsie's... I really want uh, both a Despacito and, and Headseeker roll with a uh, Zen moment. Or um, What else goes in that first slot? There's something else really good in that first slot. Uh, keep away. I would love, like, a keep away Headseeker or keep away Despacito roll. I think that would be so fucking good. Sheesh. Oh, this is not good. Big demolitionist, which is why I was over here. What well, been coming sooner? Are you most looking forward to? Uh, mountain top, for sure. Or Red Death, does that count? Can I say Red Death? Because I'm fucking stoked for Red Death. Alrighty. I like how uh, it's a small little detail, but I like how each of the boss rooms has a different little hallway leading to it. It's not like that big of a deal, but I, I really appreciate like small stuff like that. Hey, we're almost back to where we failed at. Oh, this guy gets cooked. This is the best boss. I wish all the bosses were this boss. Uh, maybe. 
Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they'll bring Zalo. So I don't know. I was never really attached to that gun. It was Zalo again. Like, it's kind of mean, but Zalo was kind of the... It was always known as the... Um, like, if you if you LFG'd something or you... you fire are you match made an activity and you saw someone with a Zalo, you're like oh they're probably bought <laughs> that was kind of the um that was kind of the uh it was especially if it's an unleveled Zalo, dude those were uh that's that's the equivalent uh equivalent of a guardian rank four right there you know but I know a lot of people did enjoy it, so maybe, but I Risk Runner also kind of just does it better. Why Red Death won Crimson? Because Crimson's shit. That's why. Oh, no. I feel like Red Death's also, like, way more iconic. Way more iconic than than Zalo ever was. Like the only reason we're getting Red Death back, it is 100 billion percent nostalgia bait. That's it. Crimson's pretty good on controllers, though. Well, what about for like, what about those of us who don't play a controller? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kvasov though, Kvasov is also that is even more nostalgia bait, and that is why they're bringing that back. Right, I mean that's pretty much a lot of final shape, a lot of the first reveal. I find it so interesting, right? Like, the more I think about this, and the more I like talk to people and and, and stuff like. I was a real like I was ri originally under the impression that um, a lot of prismatic and, and the dread and stuff weren't originally in the final shape and they were added with the delay. But I, the more I think about it, I think that's actually highly unlikely. I think prismatic and the dread have been part of the final shape the entire time, and I think they just weren't ready to show them to us the first stream. And I find it really interesting that the first stream was almost entirely nostalgia bait, and it didn't work. I find that super interesting. And the thing every single person got excited about was the new stuff. Was no, I, so maybe they were saving it to be a secret. I think what is more likely, and I could be totally wrong, is that the Dread and, and especially Prismatic were probably really hard to finish. And uh, they probably had like initial stuff ready for them but they, they weren't ready enough to show, especially Prismatic. I, I would, that just seems incredibly likely. I bet those two things are a, a big reason for the delay, to, to finish him up, to spruce him up, along with other things that makes Final Shape just feel better. Um, but I bet the, the pushing those over the top was a big part of, uh, of the delay. And so a lot of it wasn't ready to show, especially last year, whenever they did the stream one, like August or whatever, even before that, I think. I don't, or maybe it was November. I don't remember when it was. Whenever uh, Season of the Witch launched. Oh, it was Witch. I guess it would have been, yeah, August, June, July, somewhere in there. And uh, I bet it just wasn't finished yet. They had nothing to show because it wasn't done. They were still, everything was still a work in progress. So they were like, all right, nostalgia bait the shit out of them. It didn't work. Yeah, that too, uh, Psycho. The Dread is the smallest race by far? What? No, it's... I mean, it's the size of an average Destiny race. Hu I mean, Tormentors, Husk, Grim, both entry units, the Attendant and the other one, and then a, a big unit. Two big units, because it's one big unit with two... Um, uh, the subjugators so six six and a half i mean that's that's the size of a normal destiny race they've added stuff over time but like when the hive launched thrall acolyte ogre wizard 
Shrieker, five. That's that's the average size of a of a of a destiny race. I would definitely not call it the smallest race by far. No, no, I mean it is it is the size of a destiny race when they first launch. Like just period. Goblin, Hobgoblin, Harpy, Hydra, Cyclops. That's five as well. Did I miss one? I feel like I'm... Oh, uh, Minotaur, six. That has six. Um... Oh, night, 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 six. Yeah, so six is average. It's the, it's the same. It's the same here. They're adding six units. Minotaur, our Tormentors came out a year ago. What does that have to do? I mean, it's still part of the race. They just gave it a part early. What does that have to do with the size of it? It's like, because they introduced uh, Wyverns late, they don't count as part of the Vex. That's like, that's kind of silly Billy Goat Hour. I don't know. That seems like that right there is looking for a reason to be disappointed, you know? That's, uh, well, Bungie did pretty good, but I like being pissed off, so I'm gonna, like, make up some- I'm gonna, I'm gonna fudge some shit to be, uh, angry at them. You know? That's- that's how that reads. IMO. And the two of them are Scions. I don't- uh, you can fucking say that. I mean, Acolytes are just- Legionaries are just- like, you can just say that about every equivalent. Like, in lore, yeah, sure, they're Scions, but they play differently, right? The exact opposite. Instead of pushing and booping you, they pull you. That is, I mean, it is quite literally the opposite. Um, and they are also the most mechanically advanced race. That is also true. So, I don't know. It's it's That's a pretty silly thing to say, I think. It's like, it's like when people are like, oh, uh, the Scorn are technically corrupted Fallen, so they don't count as a new race, even though, like, yeah, in lore, they're corrupted Fallen. But they, they don't play anything like the Fallen. They barely look like the Fallen. They play completely different. It's like, that's a pretty, to, what what determines a new race is mechanics and how they play, 100%. Not, not war implications, that's ridiculous. That's, that's, uh, that's incredibly ridiculous. Uh, so just because they're in war, they're scions. They play differently than scions. So they they're different units. Just period. Just period. That's it. Uh, Wyvern does count for Vex now, but when the the Vex were introduced, when when new races are introduced, there are typically only s six of them. Or when a race is introduced, there are typically only six units. We got the we got the standard size, and it's like it's weird because like uh, attendants and in, in weavers right? is that what they're called, the scion ones. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, you know, there's two of them, and there's two subjugators, and it's like, okay, maybe count each of them as, like, a unit and a half, I guess. It's like, whatever. It, I don't know. We're getting into semantics at that point, but... Five foot disagree with what? Would you class the Fallen Splicers as a new race? The Fallen Splicers pl were essentially, like they played the same as the Fallen, right? Shanks were still Shanks. They still had the same attacks. They still behaved the same. So no, I don't, I don't. I think they are a new faction of Fallen. They have a, a couple additional little funny things. I mean, it's the, it's the same, that is the same as the Darkness Cabal or the Moth Hive, right? Uh, doesn't really add any they still function the same how you approach them is still the same They just have small little additional things Right like nothing that I had Siva with the exception of like getting a headshot was really different 
the mechanically they are still the fallen right that's how i approach it so just like the the darkness legionaries or whatever from lightfall were not a new race of enemies they're just modified cabal but the scorn are not just modified fallen i mean from a lord perspective they are modified fallen but they you have to approach the scorn entirely different not a single at least off the top of my head this was the best well i've ever done by the way not a single uh unit of the of the scorn behaves like the units i mean like maybe like screams and exploder shanks i guess but um, they, they are entirely different from a mechanic perspective. So I, I'm much more inclined to call them an entirely new race than something like the Seva Splicers. Uh, but now you're moving the goalpost, Duck. I mean, sure, all of those things, I guess, are objectively true. But you came into this saying it was the smallest race by far, which is just false. Oh, the draw pods, too. Draw pods were added later, though. <laughs> I, I really hope the thing with the dread too though it's like I'm super curious on the lore because there's no way Bungie works on a new race and then they're done right they they will be in future content in other parts of the game right like they, they kind of have to be to justify the work to make them right so I'm I'm super I'm very eager to see them implemented into other parts of the game and excited for that like uh for instance, I think Root of Nightmares would be instantly better if instead of Cabal, it was Husk. I would love if they went back. And you, do you guys remember? Do you guys remember the fucking, the Scion boss that everyone was convinced was for Explicator and then never happened? What if they changed that Explicator into that Scion boss, but it was like an Attendant or a Weaver? Guardian down. You know, like that sort of thing. I would love if Root of Nightmares got a soft refresh. What am I being shot by? Where the fuck is the Shrieker? I'm being absolutely destroyed. Oh my god, I couldn't see because of the fucking tree. I would love, love, love to see a redone Root of Nightmares with, uh, with the Dread. I think that would be so sick. Um, but I would love, I'm very curious to see how they, why, you know, how the Dread continue on past Final Shape and that sort of thing. But I hope they do because it, more variety is always a good thing and that sort of thing. I think that'd be really cool, so. Talking about Siva, there's so much lore wise that's telling us the Wrath and Machine Raid is literally not possible to bring back lore wise that saddens me. None none of the returning raids are can canonical at all. You, that is not, the lore is never a consideration for any of the raids. Oryx is big dead. Big, big, big dead. The, I mean, that's what literally Dungeons, or uh, fucking Ghosts of the Wrath was about. Ghosts of the Deep was about Ghosts of the Wrath. What the fuck? It's the wizard, so I, I'm not hitting a single rocket here, by the way. But uh, Crota was not canonical. Vault of Glass was not canonical. It does not matter if Wrath of the Machine fits in the lore or not. At all. Oh, dreading Gambit? I, that would actually be kind of cool. I don't like Gambit, but that would be sick. Legends tab is a legends tab for a reason. That is a that is a really good way of putting it, Wobby. I fucking hate the wizard, dude. You know 
don't have your well tormentors i can't believe we've been doing this all day and we haven't gotten any tormentors by the way that's crazy everything dies God. but when you're around it happens so much faster you've never seen tormentors in legend uh oh we i definitely have i 100 percent have for sure. We wiped to them on Legend Day 1. Yes. Maybe even one more. Uh, not, not the, no, that's not true. I don't think that's true. I think we've gotten three and nine. I believe I've seen Tormentors in waves that do not end in three and nine, but we're talking about this special wave anyways. We're not even talking about the individual ones. I need heavy like ASAP, dude. What am I dying to? I need this heavy right now. Oh, come on, man. Bodied. Oh, that's... God, I gotta stop trying. <laughs> I've been playing for too long to do that shit, dude. We're on, like, hour five, four. It's like, oh, jeez. I do not have the mental capacity to be slinging these pinpoint accuracy. batteries
No, the drop rate for Chinese has got to be super low, though. Maybe like 10% or something if I had to wager a guess, but... Oh, no, probably even lower than that. I have no idea. You think it's that low? I don't think it's 1%. I 1% feels really low. Yeah, maybe three, three or five, I can see. Yo, garbage, what's up, brother? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say like five or three if I had to guess. One percent super, super low. I don't, I would not believe that number at all unless Bungie said it themselves. Dude, garbage. What? There's too much good music, dude. Like, an unreal amount. The new architects, crazy. The new make them suffer, fucking crazy. Uh, the new imminence, crazy. The new era, crazy. The new Ayadola, from what I've heard so far, pretty good. Uh, or crazy. I was using the word crazy for everything, so I should say that for them too. Uh, crazy. Bring Me's got music coming out. Like fucking the new Wage War, I didn't like it at first. Fucking crazy now. Oh, I need to get, oh my God. Okay, one second, I'm gonna focus real quick. I'm gonna focus real quick. Oh, we're... Oh, please don't die. Shit. No, no, no! No, 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 no! No! Oh! No! Oh. Not this time. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this stupid ass fucking map, dude. Moth Yards is literally the fucking worst. Dude, Moth Yards is literally the worst. I don't, I, I'm not convinced that one on Legend is possible without Tether. There's no way. You can get any boss on Midtown? I don't think that's true. Are you sure about that? I don't know about that one. I, uh, I don't, I don't. That's really unfortunate. We, I both times, like, round 35 right there, too. I'm, I hate that map, dude. That was so trash. You're, you are the only person I've ever seen say that, SK. Everyone else, I've, like, all the Triumph people I'm, I've talked to, every one of them is, uh, has, like, has believed that it's uh it's one per map yeah maybe maybe a non-legend i don't know maybe a non-legend i have no idea yeah maybe normal mode yeah i guess none of us really do normal yeah boundaries alpha wolf too dude it's crazy there's too much good music Do you think that once we get a Destiny 3, Bungie will do with, away with static subclasses? Potentially. I don't know. That seems to be a really common theory going around, but I don't know. It's hard to say, really. Come on. Give me a shiny. You're telling me I'm about to do this entire... Like, not a single shiny this entire stream? That's crazy.
I know you'll use this well. Careful with that. That's kind of true, love. That's kind of true, man. Hopefully, this is. All right, maybe I'll do a couple legend ones. See how that goes, or regular ones. See how that goes. Hey, I'm in. Alrighty, well, I am very hungry. Uh, so I'm gonna go eat, man. There will definitely be way more streams, though. Like I have, I have so many things to uh, to farm for. It is not even funny. So definitely more streams. Um, pretty excited. So, hell yeah. Uh, we'll do. Well, let's do it later, uh, shrimp. I don't know if you work today, but I'm fucking hungry. I gotta go eat. Maybe in a little bit. But I. I'm leaving. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I'll see you very soon. Onslaught fucking cooks. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Go to Shax's Engrams, can uh, drop shinies and work with the two min... Uh, I've I've maxed out Shax. I cannot get any more Shax Engrams. Um, all right. See you, everyone. Have a good